All right, I'm up here in Wood County with John Mosier at Mosier Farms, and he's going to tell us a little bit about what he did in his soybean field over here this year. I'm going after a high, some high yielding soybeans, and did a few things different than what he normally did. And uh, John, tell us a little bit about what you did on these soybeans that's a little different than what you uh, normally did. Okay, well this year uh, I've never really messed with the foliar side before and I got hooked up with Novus and at V4 we made a hype application across the entire field. I uh, left a check strip in the middle uh, to determine that at harvest if uh, it worked or not. Uh, this was our check and this was our treated. At R3 I came back in with trifecta uh, and an insecticide and kept tabs on it. And in between R5, or about R5, I came back in with a, with a chrome product from Novus. And just real quick visual. Tell me, yeah, tell me a little bit about what you're, what uh, you're noticing, John, on the Well, if you look at the check, and... it just seems like there's one main stalk going up. Uh, there's still good clusters. Uh, you'll have three to four uh, pods per node. A lot of three beaners. When you come over here and you look at the tree dead, the, trifecta product that's when i really noticed it after the r3 phase uh was just the branching uh i pulled multiple samples over the last three weeks and uh every time uh, i mean just look at the branching from tree to the nine uh, a lot more four beans there's still four or five beans uh per node but i'm just noticing a lot more four beans uh per pod so um, i guess the combine will tell us this fall but what I'm seeing versus treated versus check, uh, program's gonna pay for itself and then some. So I'm um, looking forward to this fall though and uh, seeing my, for all our work. All right, well thanks John. I appreciate Thank the uh, update and we'll uh, follow up with yeah. uh, harvest data here this fall. For sure.